Landria here with watery eyes because something out there is blooming. Everything out there is blooming. I love Atlanta, but whoa! Okay, birdies are chirping. Everybody's happy. Are you happy? I want to talk about gratitude today because there's something I want you to know about it that you may not be thinking. That's a little advanced, but I think you're ready for it. Gratitude is so powerful. I'm going to tell you how you can use it and think of it differently that might be an epiphany for you. Yeah, gratitude opens the gateways to abundance, joy, everything. Because it's the message that I have. Let's use it. Let me teach you how to do that in this video. Yeah, let's go. Welcome to Leandria Anka, Zen Powerhouse. You like my earrings? Yeah, got my little feathers. All right, so I want to talk to you today about gratitude. I get a lot of ideas when I'm showering and in the morning I get all these downloads. And I realized I was taking a shower and how amazing it was. And I realized how fortunate I was to stand and have clean water going over my body and washing off the whole day and all the, all the pollen that's all over the place. And I said, thank you. Thank you for this beautiful, clean water. Thank you. Now here's what I want to share with you. When you say thank you, it's like, okay, a lot of times, okay, what's the big deal? Cup of coffee, thank you. We are one. I hope this is an epiphany for you. We are one. You are not separate from anything or anyone else. You appear to be separate so that you can experience the contrast. Because if we, you know, on the other side, we're aware of everything. We have a 360. We feel what other people are feeling and everything. You do some of that here because we share a collective. On the other side, the density has gone. So we actually are aware of your feelings and your feelings as if you are experiencing it. As if it's you. Here we pick up on feelings. Over there, everything's so much more intense. Okay, why is that? Because you are the other person. And the same holds here. Because we're in a material dense world, we, we appear to be separate because we're in dense bodies. So we think we're individuals. You're not. What applies over there applies here. It's universal. We're just one thing. And we actually do feel the feelings, the pain, the love, everything from one another. We share it. Now here's, here's what happens when you're thankful for water. You are the person who doesn't get water every day. You are that person. So it's not like, oh, I'm so thankful that I have it because they don't. You actually are that person. And when you transition, I know this is deep stuff. When you transition to the other side, you will experience that too. As if, as if just as strongly when you experience the water on your body. When you say thank you, you're grateful because you know that the other facets of you experiencing the contrast of everything you can be doesn't have water. And so that's when gratitude comes in. It's like, okay, I'm th thanks. thanks for the food. I mean, what's the big deal? Because you, the one energy field, not person, you, the energy field that's in this body experiencing this, is also the other body over there that isn't eating. Yesterday, I... Uh, you know, I don't carry cash. Nobody carries cash anymore. And I, every once in a while, there's a, some homeless person sitting outside our little boutique store here. I live in a very nice neighborhood. I saw this man uh, last time I was there. And I thought, geez, I didn't have any money. This time I thought, I don't need any money. When I go into that store, I can give him food. So when I came out, I'm not crying. This is allergies. When I came out of the store, I got a sandwich, big thing of water, napkins, and I handed it to him. He didn't speak English. He almost sounded Incan. It was weird. It wasn't American Indian. He looked Incan. And um, he was just a really cool looking person, but I could tell he hadn't showered or eaten in a while. And he was sitting there in some little cubby hole doorway. When I handed it to him, there was no thank you. That man grabbed that sandwich and water in two seconds like he'd never seen food in his life. 
and I realized how simple it was for me to supply something that I think is no big deal. I have plenty of food. How much food do we waste every day? Especially the United States, throwing food away. And I realized that this man, that food was so amazing to him that he didn't even think to say thank you. He didn't need to, because that was me sitting there. That was me sitting there, feeling, feeling the compassion of one person who bothered to go get them some food. So you know what happens when you do that? You think, oh, I could have gotten them this or that or this and that, so next time I will. Next time I'll get more. Does it solve the problem? No. It's not about solving a problem. It's about the exchange, this interaction between me and myself of giving, of doing what I can when I can do it. All right, you don't have to, you don't have to, you know, feed Africa. You change the world by giving somebody a sandwich. And, and if we all do that, there will be no lack. That is me. So when you are thankful or you do things, you're doing it to yourself. That giving that you give is to you. You are receiving it. And the, the shift of energy that happened with me in that ex exchange was far greater than what he felt by being able to eat. Far greater. So I, it, and I, I felt, I felt that, that pain, that loss, that lost feeling that he had because he doesn't even speak English. Can you imagine trying to get around here without speaking English? You know, Americans, you know, right? Not easy, not easy to, to get around in an English speaking country. So I wanted to share that with you because I wanted you to realize that when you're taking that shower, there's somebody who has to walk miles to get dirty water to drink, right? And may have to do it barefoot in 100 degree heat. That's you. So when you're taking the shower, you're experiencing the luxury that someone else on the planet doesn't have that is still you. It's tough to think of that because, you know, we're, like, I'm only feeling this. But when you put yourself in that place that all peoples are experiencing the contrast of every possible situation human beings can experience. That's what we're doing. That's exact from the, the darkness to the light. So when you become the person who's grateful, you send a positive energy and you're focused on those people without water. You're actually putting a higher frequency and higher energy into it. It affects them. We start to solve problems that way because we become conscious of what we need to work on. And so my thoughts and my prayers and my gratefulness changes that. Because what you give, you receive. And I'm giving. I'm giving into that energy field. I hope this makes sense to you. This is very deep and philosophical, but it's really a fact that we are one energy and there is an exchange at all times. Right? You're in, you're, you, have an, you have a human experience right now. But you are everything and everyone. So next time you see somebody, and if they're angry, whatever's happening, instead of being the individual that's irritated by it, or, oh, those homeless people, or this or that, that's me. That's me. That's me who's frustrated. That's me who's angry. That's me who's lost. That's me who's sad. That's me who's wealthy. That's me who's powerful and misusing it. Yeah. So I hope this was helpful for you. If, you go, if you're not in Manifest Anything, my, my free video series, come on over. We talk about how to use your power, what it is. You know, we tap into it, we break past our fears, and then we activate our magic. But what we want to do is understand that all of the things that happen while we're doing that, that's really the reason why we're here. And using that power gives us unlimited choices. And you have them right now. So sign up. You can go in the description. Go to LandriAnka.com. Come on over. And I've got all kinds of good stuff. Miracle, monthly miracle circles. Amazing. Do the work. You will transform. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Zen Powerhouse, signing out. Namaste.